So what the f*** is prompt engineering? Well, it's like having your own AI coding buddy. You teach it to understand your gibberish, then it transforms it into beautiful code. It's like translating your damaged brain cells into genius programming magic. In this video, I'll walk you step by step on how you can ditch your computer science classes. And if you're self-taught and never went to college or high school or even had a life like me, I will also show you how you can improve your code and fix your bugs in a matter of minutes. First, we are going to take a look at the steps one by one, then get into some details. So for God's sake, stick till the end. Your first step is to understand the AI model you want to work with. Picture this, you're on a blind date with an AI model. Why with an AI model? Because you'll never get a real date. You have to get to know its strengths, weaknesses, and what makes it tick. I want you to wine and dine that model with your knowledge. Now you have your AI model, it's time to identify task objectives. You need to give your AI body some direction. Tell it what you want, be specific. Don't just say, hey, get me some bitch. That's like asking a dog to drive a car. Instead, say hey, give an idiot an advice on how to communicate with women. Got it? You should also learn how designing effective prompts works. Here's the thing. Precision is the name of the game. Write your prompts like your text in a grammar-obsessed English teacher. Clear, concise, and straight to the point. Your last step is to leverage community and resources. You should absolutely join online coding communities like my Discord server down below. Meet people who are lonely as f like you and trust me you'll get better over time now it's time to put those prompt engineering superpowers to good use but first you have to learn how ai models work so i'll put a link down below to a website called learnprompting.org i want you to go all the way from the basics to the prompt tuning and it is better if you take a look at the miscellaneous section after you got enough knowledge i want you to open up chat gpt or whatever you want to work with but i highly recommend chat gpt and let's get to work now let's say you want to center a dev using tailwind css you have to write it in this form I want to center a dev by using Tailwind CSS framework. Give me the code. First, we declared the problem we want to fix. I want to center a dev. Then, additional details, which is in this case, using Tailwind CSS framework. And your demand, which is give me the code. This is the best way to describe your problem. But it is not the only way, so keep that in mind. You got it? Of course not, you're an idiot. Let me give you another example, but this time with an error. Let's say you got an error message that says, Anka error, cannot read property of dev. You basically are going to tell ChatGPT the problem like this. I faced this error, and you're just gonna paste the error. And as you can see, it tells you exactly what to do and how you can fix it. And in our case, ChatGPT is so smart that it can remember any text you wrote before, and from the tone you're using, it will know if you're referring to it or not. Here, look at this. I fixed it, but how can I install the framework? And it automatically knows that you are referring to Tailwind CSS. But before we end the video, I want you to take a look at my mentorship program before AI becomes a better mentor than me. Just kidding, I will always beat it. And if you'd like to never use Google Bard ever again, you should absolutely watch this video right here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.